This is Luke with Digital Trends, and we're checking out a brand new two-in-one from Samsung called the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro, and this is a brand new redesign of this two-in-one laptop that Samsung has brought to CES this year. So we're gonna check out some of the new features it has, including this brand new redesign and new material that it's using on the chassis. The device is still made out of aluminum, but now it has this interesting diamond cut edge, both in the lid and in the base. And it does give it a pretty premium look across the entire thing. As for ports, you have two Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side and just a standard USB-C port and a micro SD card slot there and the power button. And opening it up, you can see on the inside, we've got some trim bezels on the left and right side and the top. Gives it a more modern look than it was before. This is a 1080p display, so it's not a uh, 1440p or 4K like you're getting in some other laptops, but again, this isn't a super premium laptop. It's kind of in a mid-range area, and for that, 1080p is A-OK. -okay. So what you're getting here is just a single 13 inch size. There's no longer the 15 inch option like there was last year. You're gonna have to leave that to the Notebook 9 Pen, which comes in either and also comes with a, an option for an MX150 graphics card. This, however, does not. You just get the Core i7 Whiskey Lake processor, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Now this is a two in one, of course. So you can flip the screen all the way back around and use it in tablet mode. It does feel a little bit too heavy still to be used fully as a tablet, but if you want to use it occasionally, it does work well. And of course, it comes with the pen. And this is a brand new active pen that was made for this device. Again, very different from something like the S Pen that was put in the Notebook 9 Pen, where it could be slotted into the actual device itself. This one doesn't have that capability, but it does feel significantly bigger. And that just makes it feel a little bit easier to write right on the screen. And Samsung does say a lot of the same technology is in this pen and it should read your writing pretty well and feel really responsive, which it does. So that's the Notebook 9 Pro. We don't have a final price or a release date for this device yet, but you can expect it to be somewhere around um, the, how the device was priced last year, which is around $1,100. It's a nice alternative to something like the MacBook Air, which is a $1,200 device. This has probably better battery and better performance than something like that MacBook Air. So again, it's a pretty nice competitor to that. So that is the first look at the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro.